two. So in this video, I wanted to talk about turning an actual asset into a kit ops insert. You know, it's nice to do things that aren't always associated with Booleans. So Shift G, we will select, uh, not siblings, we'll select uh, children, Shift G, select children to select the lights, then we'll select the empty, and we could just delete that to get rid of the lights, and that'll simplify our lives a bit. With everything selected, I'm just going to press uh, Q with something selected, and we're just going to Smart Apply. And with Smart Apply down, we now can actually remove all of the cutters altogether. So we'll just delete the hierarchy. And let's just hide the floor for now and deal with the seat first. So we're going to save this as a new file. So the same file, but one underscore one to indicate it's a start of a series. And with everything selected, I'm going to press Q O T. QOT and we'll just drop a box and first we'll shade it as wire and then I'm going to press Control I to select everything that's not the box then select the box and we'll press Control P object keep transform so now basically everything is a child of this box now and that means that I can go to the bottom here do origin to selection alt G and our chair is completely able to be controlled and moved around and is ready for export so let's save this scene and I'm going to go to new demo and we'll choose to create insert. And so here we are in the scene, box overwhelming everything. And we almost made it scot free aside from a few residual shapes that weren't needed, but you live and you learn. So with the camera already focused on it, we're in a pretty good place and we'll just scale out the floor and just look at what our render's looking like so far. And that's looking good. And that is what we're looking at basically as far as our thumbnail is concerned. So let's first save the insert and we'll just call this um, Heli C. And we'll render the thumbnail. And as long as this is marked as the main OBJ, you're good to go. Everything else should just be marked as a solid. And we can just save our insert and close the scene. And here we are back where we started, except always the solid state gets changed back from wire. So here we are just fixing that and now we want to deal with the wall. So let's just Alt H hide the wall. Let's select the wall and Shift H hide everything that's not the wall. And first things first is let's just place it on the floor. It's just a wall. And so with this place we can now press Control A all transforms and the next thing is to turn this into a decap shape, as you know. So Q, O, T, roll the wheel back once. And here we are moving on the X, but we want to actually control it on the Y. And how much of it do we want to repeat? We probably just want to repeat just the middle section. I was thinking about getting this whole area, but that would make for a more interesting result. We'll just go with this and press C to enable our caps and everything turns to a line, allowing us to see exactly what we're about to decap and reattach. So after clicking, we now have our decap object. I'll press Shift H to hide everything except the new object, which is selected after the operation. And I feel like the sharpening here could have been adjusted. So Shift clicking sharpen will put you in an auto smooth modal that will let you roll the wheel back until you get your shading just right. But the good thing about this asset is we can jump into array and we can now just scale this out. So always gotta do something extra to make these things a little more extra than they are and let's look at our array let's set it to one so here we are with our just static wall we'll hit it with a blank material and let's take this moment to create insert and like the helicopter seat a little large we'll just scale it down just a bit and I can tell you from previous um, experience that what we want to do is enable the decap objects in fact, I'll just select the main object, control I, press numpad period, and we'll just scale these to zero, select this, keep transform, and you know, we might be automating that in the future. You know, once I do something two or three times, it becomes a um, thing that has to uh, be automated. So we will go ahead and choose to create insert. And here we are with our insert, and it's two children hanging over it like little sci-fi antennas. 
and we'll just call this Heli Wall and put our name, of course. And we want to do camera to insert just so it fits in the view nicely. Guess the camera is going to make us ad manually adjust it. No biggie. Let's just get in there. Let's see what our render is going to look like before we actually render it. All right. That will work. Oh, I need to uh, save the insert first. So save the insert and then render the thumbnail. If I do it out of order, of course, this option is not going to be highlighted. So now we can close the factory scene. Let's Alt H, unhide everything. Let's hide the original floor. And this is our cube. So just for kicks, let's actually move this all over because everything's applied and we're not going to have to deal with any parenting hobnobbery with it. So first we'll uh, add insert, heli wall. And it looks like we need to go ahead and edit this insert. And we can see where we went wrong with this, the origin. In fact, let's Alt G, place it on the ground floor. And the easiest way to deal with this in a timely fashion is to just use a displace modifier. And I just press X until I get it moving on axis I want. And now we have the desired result. So we want it to decap, then displace. And we'll just take this moment to save our insert. Let's make a new file again. So we'll remove the queue, go to Kid Ops, jump to our new demo pack, locate Heliwall, and just add insert. And here is our insert, nicely placed, a little bit offset thanks to the displace. And then the next thing we want to do is go to the heli seat. So let's go to the seat, add insert. It's already placed. And the good thing is we can get in here after turning off auto select insert and use array to stretch this out and extend it. And if we go back into auto select insert and we're working in smart mode, we can just shift D duplicate this and create an entire interior area for a helicarrier without any further rigmarole. And that's kind of the way that I approach KitOps personally when it comes to making assets and storing them and recalling them. I just use it as a uh, asset manager of sorts. And thanks to the advanced parenting capabilities, it makes it a lot easier to keep everything in line and grab things that you probably didn't even know were attached that were probably part of different collections that may be part of the construction of your insert itself. But with that, I can wrap up this video and I'll see you guys next time.